We've traveled deep into the rolling mountains of Appalachia to reach Pikeville, Kentucky, infamous for the violent family feud between the Hatfields and McCoys, remembered today in TV drama and on whimsical statues on Main Street. But now, two more warring clans, Antifa and white supremacists, are heading here for a high noon showdown. No longer will you be the silent majority. You have a voice. This is Trump country. He garnered 80% of the votes here. So Matt Heimbach sees fertile ground for his next big racist rally and to recruit for his cause of creating a whites only homeland. Our strongest area of membership is in Appalachia and in the Rust Belt. This is an area where people have just been left behind by the economy, where white folks feel that they don't have an advocate. We are preparing for the worst, uh, hoping for the best. Because of past violence by masked Antifa, the Inauguration Day action in Washington, and this violent protest in February at the University of California, Berkeley, Pikeville City Manager Donovan Blackburn is worried. The counter-protesters and the Antifa um, are the groups that I am concerned about. The city passes an emergency order banning masks and hoods, and Blackburn urges downtown shops to close. It's now the evening before. The typically bustling Friday night streets are abandoned. We would have a front row seat to it if we chose to, but we want to get out of the way. <laughs> Several miles away, the neo-Nazis are at that camp up in the mountains, starting their Saturday morning. No bagels, but plenty of bullets. <laughs> Donuts and rifles, that's the American breakfast right there. Doesn't get more patriotic than that. They're unconcerned about their sworn enemies. These are trust fund kids. These are heroin addicted, noodle arm, skinny, uh, you know. <laughs> Most are well armed. We're prepared to defend ourselves. And as you can see, many of us are armed and we're ready. I'm going to grab. The morning starts with a lesson on how to wear gas masks. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to hold your breath and military training on how to stand in formation and march. Um, it's a bit difficult to get with the synchronicity of it all. We want to be like ants. <coughs> We're a colony and we just go and destroy everything. Then, the final touches. We're carrying shields for a reason, to be able to defend ourselves against their attacks. That phrase, nug er nug, is Swedish for enough is enough. I mean, they got a track record like crazy of like committing violence. They behave themselves like escaped zoo animals. They like to throw fecal matter, uh, water balloons full of urine. They're going to be required to stay on one side of the street, and if they do try to cross the barrier to attack us, the police should intervene. Early Saturday morning down in Pikeville, I need you clear your mind today. Police Chief Philip Reed briefs his men. We've got a mission today. This is as real as it gets. A lot of emotion, a lot of excitement, a lot of adrenaline, a lot of unforeseen things that could possibly happen. <laughs> that is like awesome. <laughs> Remember those Antifa activists, Daryl Lamont Jenkins and Lacey McCauley? They're pulling into town now in advance of their fellow troops, whom they've alerted through social media. Thunderstorms apparently in the, the forecast. They'll just wash away the stink that the um, Nazis bring with them. But. Lacey's concerned that it's legal to openly carry weapons, a right the opposition is proudly exercising. Yeah, it's a little scary. I don't want to be a martyr or anything. Today, she's embracing the First Amendment. Not the second. We've got extra batteries, black bandana, and also, you know, the anti-fascism symbol, universal anti-fascism symbol, three arrows pointing down. Daryl, though, opts for more subtle, sophisticated tactics. He knows Antifa's actions can turn violent, and he understands it, but he fears it's a stain on the movement. That's what's generating the attention. I don't want that to be the thing that generates attention, but unfortunately, that's what happened. Rather than fight in the street, Jenkins prefers to fight online. He takes photos of alt-right demonstrators, identifying them by name and exposing them online. Yeah, what are you gonna do? We're gonna put them all over the place. What else? There's nothing else to do. So what? A process called doxing, short for documenting. Why spend all this time? Why hunt these people down? Like, what is your goal, to expose them? Because there's some people out there that don't want to be exposed, and they may pose even a greater threat than anybody that doesn't mind. Laura Sennett is another seemingly unlikely Antifa researcher. I'm a mom. I shop at Trader Joe's. 
And for years, Senate has doxxed along with Daryl. When you are looking at posts from a woman who is a mental health nurse, and she's talking about how she wishes she could poison all the minority patients that she has in her ward, yes, her personal information and those quotes and those screenshots went out to the public, absolutely. You will not replace us! And as two demonstrators at Charlottesville last weekend found out, that means consequences. Paul White and Peter Teft were both outed online. Since then, White left his job at a California hot dog shop, and Teft's own father publicly disowned him denouncing his son's vile, hateful, and racist rhetoric and actions. You want to make sure these, these groups don't enter the mainstream. Exactly, because no one's paying attention to them, and sooner or later, they're going to be your police officers, they're going to be your politicians, they're going to be your teachers, they are going to be people that you cannot touch, and I don't want that to happen. In Pikeville, the showdown is moments away. Police have closed the streets to traffic and are taking their positions. We're all praying for uh, a peaceful uh, demonstration. Will those prayers be answered? He can't get angry. These people are politically confused. Or will hotter heads prevail? Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.